because our guest is Joe Caccioni. He's our on-air announcer, and he also helps me with pre-interviewing guests, so he pre-interviewed himself. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to bring his card. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Caccioni. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> or as you say in the morning, do you say, hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, so Joe Caccioni, we are here to talk about your family's book. Yes, my mom has written a children's book, the first of a series, okay. um, called The Cousins. Uh, there are seven of us, and you know, she, you write from what you know. And so she took our life experience and um, extrapolated on it and made it work for a children's book. Now, The Seven Cousins, because I yes. know all of you personally, mm -hmm. I've known you all since you were born, um, you are very close, mm -hmm. you know? It's beautiful, you have a, a really kindred spirit about mm -hmm. all of you. So how did the book come about? What was the original yes. concept? So actually the illustrator, Mark Edgehill, and my grandma worked closely together through the deaf community. He was born with severe hearing loss and she was an ASL interpreter. And so they uh, know, knew each other for many years, worked together for a long time. And grandma wanted to, who you know also very well, um, wanted to, make this happen and so they talked about it but never had the time because they were always working always busy so now that they've retired they finally have the time and they were able to make it happen and they talked to my mom who the uh, wonderful angie. the wonderful angie who you know always brilliant writer l wonderful poet um even growing up on our birthday she would write us little poems about how we were loved and you told me a story too about a treasure hunt one time. Yes, Didn't she like write yes, you clues? Yes, 16th birthday, my 16th prose? birthday in prose. Um, things like, and hers was much better than mine. I'm not a poet, <laughs> but it was like, neath where you lay your sleepy head, um, the next clue, or neath where you lay your head to sleep, the next clue will be found. It's yours to keep. Oh, lovely. You know, so beautiful, wonderful prose. And each book, that's what's special about the Cousins book is it starts with a poem. And in this one especially, it circles back to that at the end, where Elliot, who this one focuses around, the youngest cousin, um, circles back and he says, uh, lonely or bored is not something you'll be if you're lucky enough to have cousins like me. Excellent. Now well, let's talk about the names of the cousins in birth order. Yes. So obviously, Nicole. Nikki, yes, yes. Nicole. Taylor. So the two Rose girls first, then me, mm -hmm. then Allie was mm -hmm. born in March of the same year, 98, as Maddie, okay. finishing out the Rose girls. And then the two babies, Colin and Elliot, although Colin just started college. Amazing. So he's not a baby anymore, and neither is Elliot in high school. Um, so yeah, that's the cousins, three families. Now there's a lot of educators in your family there as is. well. Yes. So um, your mom in particular. So mm -hmm. this has an educational component, this it book. It does. Yeah, another special part of it is she always, she, you know, she always had a passion for children's literature. Um, and she's been with the younger elementary grades too, uh, but the intermediate, you know, second, third, and fourth. So she's kind of covered the gambit and seen them grow. That's a big time of growth and change and development for them. And so she's really seen not only in our lives, but there's what they go through. And she wanted a book that is fun, is lighthearted, this series, but it also lets you deal with the things kids are dealing with, you know? And there are, so she already has some others in the works, but there's um, one that tackles bullying, you know? and we all rally around. And then there's one that deals with being a middle child, you know, cause mom has personal experience with that. She's the middle of the three girls. And then um, Taylor also, so that focuses around Taylor cause the oldest, you know, has privileges and is special. And then the youngest is the baby and has their own privileges. And so it's like, you're caught in the middle. What do you do with that? Well, even, even growing up, um, you know, the three sisters, all friends of mine, mm -hmm. um, had a, a dance studio right you know so you were always around each other you Absolutely. lived in the same neighborhood same you did the same mm -hmm. things obviously you ate the same holiday <laughs> food yes, all right yes. um so i'm just going through your card because this is so cute that he wrote this card <laughs> so and i love it it's so, a how the book came about yes um your mom's involvement in her vision that yes. she's an elementary um educator uh that she had a passion for children's books mm -hmm. um and uh, the book is about a family reunion. Family reunion, okay. yes. And I even know the real story, but go ahead, you yeah. tell it. Okay. So this, it revolves around, it's called Family Reunion Fun. And Elliot just got a new baseball glove. And yes, because I read you the story, that's right. Elliot just got a new baseball glove and he's so excited. And it's when he finds out that his parents have cousins too. And so he, you know, in his kid little world, it's all about the people he sees every day. You know, his family, his cousins. And so it's crazy how it broadens his world in one day when he goes to this family reunion. 
and just that journey and the fun and the play of that. And there's a very special tree, which is an actual tree. The tree, yes. at, the tree at, Par uh, at Marquette, Marquette, which isn't even on the card, but I know that. Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, can you hand me that book? Uh, yes. Okay, good, because usually, you know, when I'm talking about a book, I'm like, I'm holding it up, and I'm like, see the cover? Um, yes. But the book, so the, the tree, tree is in there. Yes. Um, so the tree, we have a family tree at Père Marquette, which started off, we've been going there since Nikki was a baby, and she's almost 30. So she has pictures of her brand new, few years old in the tree at this special vacation we went to every year called Père Marquette in Illinois. It's the lodge in the area. And that's the tree and all of us in it. And, and I love call that picture. It, yes, and you call the tree Grandma Hearts. Grandma Hearts Heart tree. There you go. Because, yes, I actually, I take responsibility for that. That was my thing, calling oh. it Grandma Grandma Heart. Um, and so, you know, it's fun. And she's just full of love. So every time you see a heart now, you think of Grandma and you give it, you buy it and give it to her and it's special. And This is fabulous. Her heart. So this is going to be a whole entire series, you know, and then who knows, maybe it'll go into being an animated series for yeah. children. All kinds mm -hmm. of things the are happening. The sky's the limit with this so series. So it's um, The Cousins. The Cousins. Uh, brought to you by, uh, written by Angie Gaccioni, um, Joe's mom. So yeah. stay tuned for more. We hope that you enjoyed, once again, another family portrait on The Live It Up Show. Thanks for watching.